For nearly five years, serial killer Michael Foy would terrorize the citizens of Highland County, Ohio. A woman's body turning up in a garage, and police are now questioning the body inside that 55-gallon drum, and now that drum is on its way to the coroner's office. Female who is in a 55-gallon drum. The bodies of Cynthia Pickens and Martha Beimer were discovered as his first victims. Another man who lived on the property, Shane Newhouse, also went missing during this time. His body was never found. My brothers and I have traveled out to Ohio to investigate the reports of activity taking place on the property. My name is Josh Foreman, and these are my brothers, Rocky and Sean. As children, the three of us experienced a very dark and evil haunting. We have now set off on a journey across the country, helping families trapped in their own nightmare, filming and documenting some of the most shocking paranormal footage. Do it again for us right now. Whoa. Go, go, go. It's right there. That door slammed wide open. You know who we are. You know what we do. It all ends tonight. Woo. Manifest yourself. So we can see you. This is Paranormal Nightmare. My brothers and I were contacted by a homeowner in Hillsborough, Ohio, claiming she is being tormented by the spirits of a 22-year-old homicide that took place on the property. I bought the house in November of 2019. Didn't know anything about the house. Absolutely nothing. Later on, I found out that there, there had been a murder out here. They had found her in the garage. And she had been there a while. The first thing out of her mouth is she said, if you hear or see anything out there, she's friendly, she won't hurt you. And I'm going, what? Because I didn't know she knew anything about that. And she says, that's my sister-in-law, and she won't hurt you. If anything, she'll protect you. She said she was murdered in the garage. So her body was found in the garage. Mm -hmm. What other people were murdered? Michael Floyd's wife was murdered. And from the way I understand it, she was murdered out here and buried underneath the concrete in a 50-gallon drum at his auto shop. His girlfriend was murdered out here also. She was the body found in the garage. There's still two bodies that are missing. There's the man next door and there was another man listed in a newspaper article. I know that he, this man was affiliated with Carrie They always thought that he had something to do with her murder too. If not, was the one that did it. They just couldn't prove it. And her body's never been found. I think but the way I understand it, they found her body, but she, her head was gone. So this property's got at least four or five different murders tied to it. Right. Michael Foyt was an evil man. He has no remorse to this day. And that was coming from an article that his father had an interview with. And was he prosecuted or? Yes. I believe he is still in prison. The garage, it's always just giving me the weeby jeebies you feel like somebody's watching you the whole time. A little bit further back, if you go, go beyond my fence line, there's a beautiful little creek back there. It's got a little bridge. I will not go back there because it, it literally makes me nauseous. I'll be walking back there and I'll just turn around and come back. I can't tell you what it is, but there's something out there that doesn't want you out there. And do you think whatever's here is dangerous? Whatever's back there is dangerous. So right here's the garage where they found the bonding that sat in there for two years, which I heard was pretty gruesome. Can you bang on that door? Hit the door for me if you're inside the garage. This was her home but she needs to go someplace happy. This was not a happy place for her. My motion sense of her alarm, it starts going off about 8.30, and it's like she relives this every night in death. If you had a horrible life, why would you want to continue that horrible life of death? Whatever's back there, it, 
it'll send a chill down your spine. They found her body in the garage. The the wife, she was found at his place of employment in a 50 gallon drum. And she was buried underneath their concrete. They dug up everything out here. They found her, I guess she was decapitated. I didn't know much about her. She was a younger girl and I, she used to come out here and party. The trash went from the back door to the back of the fence. It took me, well, you can see out there, you could walk through the yard. You couldn't before. Whatever's bad stays back there. And as long as he stays back there, I'm here, he can stay out there. Since I've started cleaning out that garage, there's been a little more activity. You just feel like you've seen something out of the corner of your eye walking by. It happens a lot in the bedroom, and I kind of found out why. That's where she was murdered. Where are you at inside this house? Whoa. Do you guys see anything right there? I, I thought she was murdered in the garage, and she wasn't. She was murdered in that bedroom and taken out to the garage. Because she was here two years. And I, she was saying something about when she had first moved in or something, he wouldn't let her in the garage. She couldn't go in the garage. You know, that's probably why. Because there was a body in the garage. Yeah. I'm out here alone. So that can kind of get it. You can get a little spooky after you find out something like that. Whatever's on the other side of that fence. If he comes over here, it's going to get ugly. That's what I was telling you guys. If you do go back there, be careful. Heard that noise and all of a sudden the dogs down the road are going nuts. You guys think something's out here with us? It's over there. Whoa. I heard that growl. Yep. The fuck? It's over there. It's over in the bushes. He's out there. We heard you. She says, the rumors are true. I said, what rumors? She said, my sister-in-law was murdered there. She's confirming everything that I've been told. So that was a new one on me. I didn't know she was murdered in the house. So all those little flickers that I was seeing walk by me in the bedroom were actually her. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they found her back there though. No, and they, you said they found the girl's body back there? Yeah. Yep, I'm good. Because of the unsanitary conditions inside the garage, my brothers and I will not be investigating the garage tonight. What kind of stuff was you feeling as you was walking it? Like I was going to puke, like there was something on, on top of me. I mean, did you think something was going to attack you or? Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, he didn't, whatever's back there, I didn't want anybody back there. If you guys go back there, be careful because I've never had a male out there, you know. Okay. And I just have a gut feeling. I'm sure I'll probably be the one going back there. You want to carry my taser with you? No. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Not that it'd do any good. I feel safer probably going back there than I do being in, uh, in, in a garage. dark room because I'm more scared of the dark than being in a closed. In the dark. Yeah, being in a closed area than being outside. She was murdered in this bedroom where I sleep, but I know it was gruesome. He probably waited to do the real gruesome stuff when he got her out to the garage. Okay. Let's put it this way, I know there's rats out there, they didn't find her real well. Because she, she was out there for a while. While we conduct our investigation, we have asked Tammy to leave the house for the night. Now this house has had several different confirmed and documented murders that took place here. A young lady was killed in this very room. Her body was taken out to the garage. There was another person killed here and their body was put into a 50 gallon drum and buried. 
another young man murdered in a trailer. So the homeowner sees all kinds of dark shadows, hears noises. She's got an alarm system outside that gets tripped quite a bit and nothing is on the camera. Everybody is scared to death to be in the garage or to be out by the creek outside. So we're gonna start the investigation here in the house and then kind of work our way through. If there's any spirits in this house with us, we're here tonight to communicate with you. My name is Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. Are you able to communicate with us? Tammy said that she has seen you. You hear him walking? You hear him walking? You hear him walking? You hear him like talking? I can't, I can't make it out though. Is it like talking or mumbling? I thought I heard walking. I heard that. Did you hear that? Yeah. At the exact same time, my brothers and I heard the walking in the house. Our X camera documented this incredible piece of evidence. Who are you? Were you murdered inside this room? We're sorry what happened to you. Do you know the guy that murdered you sitting in prison right now? Are you the woman that was murdered here? If you're out in the garage and you set off the alarm, can you do that for us? We're out of that bedroom right now. I don't think the walk-in was coming from that room. It sounded like it was coming from out here, didn't it? Who is the evil spirit that everybody's afraid of? We're not afraid of you. Show yourself. What the hell is that? Like something rubbing on something? Over by that window? Yeah. Are you trying to come inside the house? Show yourself. So I definitely get a creepier feeling back here in these rooms. Tell us who you are. Are you really evil?
knocking. I found something right behind me. The homeowner says out by the creek there's something where she feels uncomfortable. Are you the one that makes her feel that way? What's that? I don't know. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Sound like a foot thud. Are you the one that died in the trailer? Did you just hear that? Sound like a thud again. Can you tell me your name? Did Michael kill you? You guys hear that? You guys hear that? You guys hear that? I heard you was killed right here where I'm standing. Can you touch me? Let me know this is the spot. Do you watch over the homeowner? I heard like. Yeah, it sounded like a door or something squeaking. Mm -hmm. side of this door was there other murders that took place in this house I can run a spirit box session real quick my brothers and I have decided to run a spirit box session in hopes of communicating with the spirits inside this house. Okay, we've got a device here that if you talk or try to communicate with us, hopefully we can hear you. Who is the woman inside this house? Were you murdered at this house? Who killed you? Tell me who killed you. Were you murdered in this bedroom? Can you tell me your name? How did you die? It's a real faint female voice. Where was your body taken to? It's like a real light female voice trying to come through. Was your body put in the garage? Yes. Was your body put in the garage? Yes. How many spirits are inside this house? Why are you here? Where are you at inside this house? Whoa. Do you guys see anything right there? Something hit my leg, like hit it hard. Right here. Did you just touch me? I 
I mean, that was hard. Who touched me? Me. Who's me? Daddy? I'm uh, not your daddy. Who are you? Are you looking for your daddy? Was this your bedroom? You touched me twice. What else can you do? Is that like laughing? You think it's funny touching me? Do you miss daddy? I want to speak to the girl. What? It's not like it was knocking back here. It's getting closer to 8.30, so. Hit something really hard and show us you're here. You touched me, you can do something else. Like something's playing with the back of my hair. It's like rubbing it. Are you touching Rocky? Hit Rocky in the leg like you did me. I don't have anything right there, do I? That's what it felt like on me. It's almost it's like, like somebody taking like a feather or something like that. Yeah, it was rubbing up, rubbing it up and down. Thank you for touching me. Tell me your name. Whoa. What? Oh, what the hell that, that was. Yeah. It sounded like something hit a bottle or something over here. We'll go out there. I was filming out this way, but I'm not sure if it was the... So I bought it, I got that Mountain Dew bottle. And that's, it sounded like something hit the buster. Did you hit something out here? If you're outside, I want you to come inside this house right now. Show yourself. You're not going to scare us. Tell me your name right now. hit my leg. I mean, that was like... Right there. Yeah, I just heard it. Kind of like a bottle got crunched. Are you moving our stuff on the table? Knock something off. Hit something really hard. We know what happened inside this house. We know a bunch of evil shit took place here. A lot of people lost their lives. Are you one of those spirits? We know that you died a very tragic, 
and brutal death. Oh, what the hell was that? The uh, camera just shut off. No signal. There was one time it looked like something went out of the corner of my eye, I caught it, that went right by your head too, but that one was dark. One was the one I caught in the film, or on oh. camera, it, it looked bright. Hmm. But it was like it shot up and went straight into your head. You can use this device to speak through it. Are we safe to walk back to the creek? Will something bad happen if we go back there? Yeah, if we go back there, let's take that with us and just see if we hear anything come from inside the house. Okay. So right here's the garage where they found the bonding that sat in there for two years, which I heard was pretty gruesome. Is there anybody down here with me? We got warned not to come here. Do you just intimidate girls? Give me a sign if somebody's down here with us. Hmm. What was it? What'd you hear? There's a voice. Sound like a demon. Tell me what your name is. Was you one of Michael's victims? Mm -hmm. so Walk up to me if you're near me. I don't think it feels creepy down here though. Probably because it's so f***ing cold. You should have heard that voice. Oh, I thought I heard me. something, but I couldn't make it out or anything. What it is feeling like something's touching my hand, but are we safe in the house? What the hell is that, Josh? I shouldn't be doing that. That's seriously only right here in this one spot. Look at that. Yeah. Is there somebody? Oh, Jesus. What is right here? Move away from this spot. What the hell would be causing that? Mm -hmm. Uh. It's right here now. It was right here. Move farther away. Move up by Josh. I told you I seen a flash of light over there. Am I making you angry? If I'm making you angry, do something. I've never heard. Holy yeah. Now it's on my chest. Remember, I was just pulling it. Yeah. Well, it's doing something. Yes, it's doing something. Even moves back further and it's back there with you. Here, Rocky, hold it. <laughs> See if it does it. Here, you stand over here in this spot. Walk over there. Okay. Here, walk. Oh. 
kind of fucked up. I'm gonna take it here. Oh, wow. There it is. It's like it's right here and then it leaves when it comes back. I just walked right through here. It's weird it's only in that one spot. Huh? It's weird it's only in that one spot. Well, when I walked through there... It didn't it, do it. It didn't do it when me and Sean traded places. And then when I started coming back towards Sean, that's when I started doing it again. Put it back up to me. Uh, yeah. Try right, nothing. I wonder if it could be acting like an EMF detector or something. Now it's way over there. <laughs> now it's not over here. I'm not going in there. That was our alarm in there. No, it was Josh walking by. Oh. I'll tell you what, it is cold out. That thing ain't doing that now. No. Twice said it was only in that spot, but it would move. Yeah, it moved all around. Whatever was down to Crick, are you here with me right now? The woman that died in this garage, are you still in there? Come up to this window if you're still in there. Can you tap on the glass? What was that? Can you tap on the glass? We're not here to harm you. Do you go in the house? You know we're just here to help Tammy, don't you? We need to go get the oscilloscope and take it down, back down there to the creek where we was with the baby monitor. Let's see if we get that see if reading. We get, get the reading, but we'd be able to see the signal. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Let's go and get it. Hey, so we're going to head back down to the creek. We've got the oscilloscope here. We're going to try to either debunk or validate the experiences that we were having down there with the other monitor and see why that specific location is giving us a high reading. Because this right here is like an EMF detector on steroids. So it's going to tell us with these readings on this screen what exactly is happening and why we're getting the weird anomalies down there at the creek. While my brothers and I head back down to the creek, we have placed several X cameras inside the house. I'm going to walk down there towards the bridge. Where did you go? Show yourself. Frequency is 5.9. This is where you're standing, right? Yeah, yeah. Right by the bridge. Right by the bridge. that monitor. Give Rocky the other thing just to try it.
Who are you? Talk to me. Spiking. The only place I, when we walk past that garage, yeah, I got a real strong spike. I mean, like I've never seen a spike that high before. Cause like right now we're getting like seven point, eight point hertz. And it's going up to like 10. 10 is higher than that, ain't it? Once it goes down, that means it's reading it. Yeah. It's not doing it like it was before, is it? No. No. But wherever it's doing it, set that off the scope right next to it, see if it's reading it. There you go. Can you come out? Yeah, so there's no, with this meter, there's no normal explanation of why this did that earlier. Because look, look how low those readings are. Yeah. I mean, that's like super low. That's like out in the middle of the woods and the freezing cold low. Mm -hmm. What the hell was that? I heard that. That was right behind me. It sounded like something got thrown. I think something's moving right behind the shop. Small camera. Why are all the dogs going nuts? Heard that noise and all of a sudden the dogs down the road are going nuts. You guys think something's out here with us? It's over there. Whoa. I heard that growl. Yep. It's over there. Whoa. I heard that growl. Yep. It's over there. Whoa. I heard that growl. Yep. I think it's over there. Where? Over in the bushes. He's out there. We heard you. Leave that flashlight on. Let's walk her this way. Uh, Leave that flashlight on. Stick the bullshit. Save yourself. Were you murdered here? Quiet. Yeah. We're going back up to the house. Come with us. What was that? We're not afraid of you. There's something over there. Look like a, uh, a light. Look like a light or a ball. Ball of light again. Over there. See anything? Nothing. Uh -huh. Don't show anything behind me. Did you hear that pump? Right up by the garage. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go up to the garage. Maybe whatever is up down here will follow us. Can you bang on that door? Hit the door for me if you're inside the garage. Hit it hard. Sounds like something's moving. Can you bang on that door? Hit the door for me if you're inside the garage. Hit it hard. Something's moving. Can you show if something sucked me into the garage? <laughs> I just keep filming and I'm leaving. Yeah, this thing's quite quick to quit me. Keep you away from the hole. Huh? I was keeping you away from the hole. Oh, I forgot all about it. Are you in the house with us? Someone's here? Yeah. Who is here? Were you murdered inside this house? What room were you murdered in? How did you die? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be free, be at peace. We command you to leave this area in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the sign of the cross, and the blood of Jesus Christ. Throw this St. Benedict's medal inside the creek for a blessing. Be free and be at peace. Seal off this garage, the sign of the cross, and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any spirits attached to this garage, we banish you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I command you to leave. We come in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I command all spirits, in the name of Jesus Christ, leave this house. The sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. The people that were murdered here, you can be at peace. You can be free. Lord, we just ask that you fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit so the dark and evil spirits have nowhere to hide. We cover this house and this property with the blood of Jesus 